This week on Sport Fishing, we have an exciting episode for you. We've traveled way north, we're up in Craig, Alaska. And today we're gonna to be going outside here, out in the open ocean, looking for salmon, halibut, maybe even a lingcod or two. And fishing with me today is my dad. His birthday's this week, so we're out here to celebrate. And my high school friend, Jimmy. We're gonna go offshore here, try to get some big halibut, some beautiful salmon, and show you the great scenery here in beautiful Alaska. So stay tuned for this very special episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. All right. <laughs> I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Oh. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. Especially the shallow water, you don't want to give them a chance to look at it. You're marking one on the bottom. You're going to be letting it down to the bottom. When you get to the bottom, it's either a fish or bottom. Click over, start reeling. You start to get that tap bump, 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 bump. Don't yard on it. Just keep reeling until that rod's doubled over. When you feel the weight of the fish, you can wind through and set that hook. Got a nice little bait 
bait pool right up here, bait pod. Got it. Birthday boy. The hell of it. First bait, and I got a king salmon on. This is why you come to Alaska. We're fishing here with Captain. And we're in Shelter Cove Lodge. Here comes my king right up on the surface, making a run. That didn't take long. You gotta move that bait up and down, Death. You gotta wind, no, no, not like that. You use the handle. Turn the handle. Just having some fun with this fish. There he is. Jimmy's on too. Yeah, buddy. So we made the drive out here because there's he knew the fish were here. Get ready, get ready. Drop that down right now. We're over a big pot of fish. Drop it down and wind back up. Here's Jimmy's fish. Go ahead and release that one. We'll wait till next year to keep him. You got it. Good job, Jimmy. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I had a great time doing that. <laughs> All right, get another Let's one. Let's get another one. Oh, oh this yeah. is a good one. Yeah. Nice king. Oh. All right, so we're going to go ahead and keep my king. This is a nice one. This is what you come up to Alaska for. Nice, beautiful sized fish here. This is my first bait of the trip. First bait of the morning. And here he is right here, just taking my time, having some fun with him. We're working right up here with Captain Kirk. There you go. Put your reel and free spool. Yeah. This is how you do it. Oh, look at that. This is how you do it. Thanks, Ken. You bet. Good job. That took a whole two minutes. <laughs> two Spoiled minutes. Him. Spoiled him. Here's my first king salmon of the trip. And that's my limit for the day. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Captain Kurt got us on the fish. And really, it took less than two minutes. I got my first bite of beautiful fish. Yeah. yeah. Like a nice one. Yeah, it's definitely cool. Oh, well, real, 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 real. Flip, flip. Set the hook. Oh, there he is. Right, good workout on the arms. <laughs> you gotta love this fish. Uh, eating right there. Oh. Moochin is really popular here in this area. Uh, you're able to cover a whole lot of water column anywhere from right on the bottom. We just had a big bite here right at the boat, 10 feet down. Um, you're covering that whole depth. Um, doesn't allow them to get a good chance to, to look at it and get them stirred up, get them crazy, and it's just a really fun way. Everybody's actively fishing. You can hook your own fish, you're not trolling. Um, certainly you can troll around here, but you see just mostly mooching the boats when you kind of get close together doing that too. And uh, I think they just like that, you know, that instinctual bite where it just goes by them and they don't have a chance to look at it and they just smash onto it. And uh, man, it's just a really fun way to fish. Captain, can you explain to our viewers 
the difference between mooching, like some of the different ways of fishing, fly lining, uh, trolling, mooching, explain what the difference is so people who've never experienced mooching know what, what we're talking about? Sure, so here with mooching, these guys right here are actively working their lines, so they're free spooling it to the bottom and they're hoping to get a bite maybe on the way down, that line will just stop or they'll feel their weight at the bottom, come on back up to the top. Uh, whereas trolling, you're gonna just have that rod on the rod holder, you're gonna be moving a little bit faster, you're gonna usually have flashers or something, you're gonna let that fish basically follow it and grab onto it and pretty much hook itself. Baby, come on. Yeah, slide it this way. Right this way. So we're out here to celebrate my dad's birthday. I won't tell you what number it is, but it starts with an eight. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he's in the middle of that decade. There you go. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, beautiful king salmon. He got what he wanted. This nice. is this is why we came over here. Beautiful Just king salmon. Get a big, nice king salmon. So I started bringing my dad up here. I don't know, 20 years ago, something like that. This is his fourth or fifth trip up to Alaska. His third time here at Shelter Cove Lodge, and first time fishing with Captain Kurt. And we're just on a beautiful little bay here. It's just beautiful. We saw whales out here. There's eagles flying all around us. And there's plenty of king salmon that want to bite the line. So and happy the, birthday, Hat. Thank you. And the skipper knew exactly where the fish were yeah. and put us right on it. Yeah, the first one we got took only two minutes. So yeah. it's beautiful. Well, let's take a little break from the action here in beautiful Alaska, outside of Craig, fishing on Shelter Cove Lodge with Captain Kurt. Let's go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of these delicious fish we're catching. This week in the galley, we're in the kitchen here at Shelter Cove Lodge. Standing next to me is Chef Joe. And Chef, what do you have in store for us, sir? Tonight, our first dish, we're gonna do for you a deep fried whole black bass. Very common fish within Dan's viewer range. We're gonna do it Asian style. Okay, here we have equal parts of cornstarch and flour. Okay, so we're heavily aggressively salting this fish, making sure it gets into these pre-scored lines to evenly cook this fish. It's going to go into your half cornstarch, half flour. We're going to make sure we get inside these cut marks also. You can do this in a turkey fryer at home, folks. I know not everybody has this giant Commercial fryer. Commercial fryer that I have here. When you're at home, you're gonna put it in the basket and drop it in. You're not gonna do it like I'm doing it here. Don't try this at home. Okay, so our, our sauce condiment for this fish today is gonna be your basic Thai chili sauce. 
my poi commonly referred to in your supermarkets, you can buy it anywhere. This gets cilantro, lime juice, sesame, soy sauce, lots of cilantro, and the my poi. So you're gonna have a slightly sweet and spicy tang to this. Next time, maybe you could catch one that would fit into the plate, and not one so big. Yeah, exactly, come on. <laughs> the fryer's, the fryer's pretty big, but it's the plate. Yeah. And this is what gives it that Asian influence? Yep. Besides the cornstarch and the flour, which is a common way in Asia to fry fish. I have some cilantro here for some garnish. You get to eat what you caught. This is amazing. Just a few hours ago, I caught this fish. Doesn't get any fresher than that. Yep, you might have to. Oh, look at oh, that. Look at that. Nice it's and just going to flake off, hit it with some of that sauce. This looks amazing. It's going to be hot. <laughs> that is delicious. Is that unreal or what? And it's pretty simple. It's got fish should taste like, to me, fresh fish should taste like what it is. Mm -hmm. The cilantro really pops through there. Oh, yeah. The sauce, and, but the, the crunchiness, fish. you got the contrasting textures in this. This is just so beautiful. Look at that white meat. It's just so delicious. Thank you, Chef. This You're is welcome. so good and so delicious. It's something that people can do at home, but they can also come here, Shelter Cove Live. Absolutely. And you'll be here cooking. Love to see them. And they have, you know, he, he makes great dinners here, great food. But if you want to have your own fish like this done, I guess it's possible. Huh? Absolutely. Pretty cool. Thanks. You catch them, we cook them. <laughs> Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Captain made a move. Now we're offshore. We're fishing for lean cod. We got a double going. Jimmy's got one on. I got one on. Dandy right there. Easy on when it's fighting hard at first. Yeah! Yeah, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, wow. yeah. That's why you come here to Alaska, man. That's, That's a big it. one. Yeah. Fish is over 40 pounds. Beautiful, beautiful lean cod. This is why you come out here. We're in an exotic location up here, fishing out of Shouta Cove Lodge with Captain Kurt here. And uh, James just caught that one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. fish. Beautiful yeah. fish, man. You that's, don't get this in LA. <laughs> that's a big one. There you go. Okay. Real careful because no. he's got okay, real yeah. nasty okay. spines on him. That's a fish that we just caught and we got to release it. But we can't keep this kind of fish, right? No, unfortunately not, but it's beautiful yellow eye, golden eye. I'm going to send it back down. Hopefully, we we'll catch it in a couple years. Bombs away. Back to the bottom with you. out of shore here looking for big lingcod. We're doing jigging, working off the bottom, winding up, doing quick sets of really aggressive fish they'll hit multiple times. And uh, boy, you get into a big one, they're a whole lot of fun. Pressure going. You don't have to be fast, just don't stop. Keep you're coming. You see it? Keep coming, keep coming, partner. All right, look at that. Oh, nice lingcod. Oh, yeah. big one. All right. That's an Alaska link cod. There you go. Oh, oh man. Beautiful fish. That's definitely your biggest link cod ever, Dad. Hey, two rivers. Okay. All right, That's birthday boy with a beautiful link cod. Here in Alaska. All Thank right, you, you bet. We're out this far to try to get some brutes. And we just might have two of them going right now. So might we'll be see. a lingcod. Lingcod fest. This is a dinosaur right here. That's what we can't get. 
Oh! There we go. How bad is Captain Kurt? He doesn't even use a gas. He's grabbed it with his hand. Don't try that at home. Oh man. This is a trophy. I was like six inches short. Yeah, this one's way bigger. That is a big fish. That is a big, big fish. Wow, that's a big link. That's, that is a monster fish. Woo! For this week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we did today. You know, we had beautiful conditions here, beautiful weather. This isn't the typical Alaska experience I'm used to. Remember, we have lots of wind and some rain too. But today was perfect. You could have fished in t-shirt and short pants. It was really nice. And the way we caught all the fish today was mooching. We were mooching for all those salmon. We caught all those salmon mooching, working the different water columns. Some of the fish came all the way down on the bottom and some came as shallow as five feet from the boat. And it was all about mooching. That's what Captain Kirk told us to do. Showed us the technique and it worked out really good using that cut hair. And he pinned it on for us so it spun really nice and tight. And that's what the salmon wanted. Then we went out in the deep water and we caught those link cut using the large single tail grub. Just perfect conditions, great weather. And if you've never been up to Alaska, you should really try it. You know, one of the things I always talk to you guys about is if you only fish five miles from home or 10 miles from home, you know, you don't get to experience all the different things that are fishing. And coming to a lodge like this, like Shelter Cove Lodge in Craig, Alaska, it's just, it's an ultimate experience. It's just great fishing. And the weather today just was icing on the cake. It's just beautiful, beautiful conditions. Well, we're gonna be back next week with part two. But uh, for this week, I just want to say thank you for watching. And on behalf of my dad and Jimmy, they're out with us. Join us next week right here for another exciting episode and part two of our Shelter Cove experience here on Sportfish.